Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series where we look at my Sunday league struggles as I play in goal for a team somewhere in my local area. So a few of you may know Theo uh, or Theo Baker who uh, played at Wembley uh, a few weeks ago in the Wembley Cup and scored the goal. Now he did a lot of vlogs last year and uh, I was the goalkeeper for his football team. Um, I, you know, A few of you tweeted me, oh proud is that you and I was like yeah, don't, don't watch the performances where we lose. But now I'm playing Sunday League again because uh, I've got the weekends off work for the first time in about 16 years. And see, the problem with me being a goalkeeper is that I'm not very good. Like, I think I'm good, but I'm not really. So I've got the footage here for the second match of the season uh, where we played away from home. And uh, a few of you may have seen on Twitter and Instagram uh, the penalty save, which I did. Uh, now, if you didn't see it, I'm probably going to be showing it about five times this episode. But, I mean, if you want to see it now, I mean, we might as well see it. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, I don't have it on my computer. I mean, as you can see here, uh, I'm just playing in goal. Uh, we were 4-0 up at the time as well. And, I mean, look at this world-class save. I mean, even David De Gea can do something like that. Uh, yeah, so I forgot to tell the cameraman before the game how to turn down the brightness on the camera. So he ended up, like, recording the game in a very bright mode. Uh, so I've had to edit the footage, and it looks a bit grainy, or it might look a bit crap. But uh, we just have to make the best of what we can. I mean, this is Sunday League football. It's not going to be Premier League quality, is it? I mean, I can't even see it myself, like... I mean, thank, thanks, Jake, for that. So my team play in the blue striped kit. So uh, that actually does help with the pitch. But the team we were playing, play in a light green. Uh, so the camera quality has obviously uh, caused that to be a bit of a problem. But as you can see here, I've got the ball. And what am I going to do? I'm going to slice it in the air. Uh, so as you can see as well, uh, the world-class camera work uh, that I've got going on here as well. Uh, there's a little zoomed-in image of me, you know, fiddling around my gloves again, uh, wondering how I haven't conceded yet. Uh, so here we are. Uh, there's me with a ball, and what a world-class first touch that is. I mean, you know, call me up for Barcelona. Look at the time-wasting I'm doing as well. Only five minutes into the game, should I say. I mean, I don't know if you've noticed in the footage, but we're playing on a fucking hill. I mean, one wing was down there, and then the other wing was up there, and you had to play across it. I have no idea what kind of pitch that is, and why we were playing there in the first place. So this was our first chance of the game, but thankfully the cameraman didn't catch any of it until the ball went wide, and I don't think he even caught the ball going wide, so thanks, Jake. I mean, he got the ball there, but... So my left back Jamie, I have no idea how he got away with the yellow card here because he got fouled and then ended up like bringing down the player with both his legs, just wrapping them around the other player's legs. And then the referee gave the uh, gave the other guy a talking to. I have no idea how he got away with it. I mean, if you did that in the street, you'd be getting a three month prison sentence. I mean, if I wasn't a pro footballer now, I mean, that is the evidence that I should be one. I mean, look at the running. Look at the technique of my run there. World class, world class. <laughs> Yeah, I would also like to point out that I'm not actually very good at goal kicks. I mean, that is one of my worst things about being a keeper. And that shows it why. I mean, that barely got outside the area. And that, I mean, if you want more evidence that I'm not very good at goal kicks, I mean, here we go. Oh, dear. Yeah, just another shot of me hanging out with my friends. I'd also like to point out the reason why I just seem to be static is the fact that nothing was happening in my area or around my area at all. We were dominating them for the whole game and you don't even want to know what happens after this. I mean, I mean, I should have done better, but I don't know how he managed to have 30 yards to himself and that's just a, another zoom in of myself again, like on the floor, thinking how on earth have I conceded yet again. Yeah, so not much else actually happened in the first half. We were 1-0 down and uh, it was half time to a team who'd lost 3-0 on the first day. Fantastic. So, thankfully, the footage in the second half, because I've fixed the camera, so it actually looks a bit better now, so it won't have all that bright shit all over it. But now you can actually see the other team's kit. It's not like just bright and it just fades into the background. Would you like to know one of the things which typifies Sunday League? I mean, just watch and learn. So, as you can see, another nice-looking shot of the uh, grass that we were playing on. Oh, wait, no, sorry, there was a match going on. I think there should be a running competition where we actually see when I actually can take a decent goal kick because it certainly hasn't happened yet. Still hasn't happened. Uh, yeah, we then equalised. Uh, not that you could actually see the goal, so uh, that actually helped. But uh, Matty did make it 1-1, uh, the right winger, rounded the keeper and put it in the back of the net. So at least I've explained it better than the video shows you. People ask me a lot of the time, what do I hate the most as a keeper? You know, is it like the pressure that it comes with it? Is it, you know, playing against, you know, uh, strikers being the only goalkeeper on the pitch? 
No, you know what my biggest fear is? Corners. And we're about to see why. So it's 1-1 with seven minutes left of the game. And, uh, well. So uh, just zoomed in on me uh, after I made a mistake. Caught keepers. And then the ball went flying over my head and into the back of the net. Ooh, you're hard. I'm sure David De Gea got beaten by a corner once. It's always the feeling of when a ball is just hit straight long and it will just run through the defence and then your left winger will go through on goal and then win a penalty. I mean, that's never happened to us. Oh, wait, he's, he's actually through on goal. Oh, and he got taken down, but the cameraman's missed it again. I mean, this cameraman's brilliant. He's showing the goals that I concede, but he's not showing the ones that we actually win. Or, sorry, the ones that we actually score and the penalties that we win. So Julian stood over the penalty and he's our longest serving player. And I actually, I don't know how many years he's been playing for the club, but he has been playing for quite a long time. And he's a trusted head to, you know, put the penalty away in the bottom left corner. And so forth. So that made it 2-2 with four minutes to go. And this is where it just gets absolutely ridiculous now. I tell you what, I have never been so proud of a distribution like this before. I mean, Connor actually made it look a lot better than it actually was. It's a shame he didn't add the finish to it though, because that could have been my first assist of the season. Probably my only assist of the season as well. Our centre midfielder and captain Dudley then played another long ball, which resulted in another goal for us. Just about. So that made it to 89 minutes on the clock and it put us 3-2 up. Now there's only one way this was going to end and uh, of course with uh, me being a goal, this was always going to end badly. So we started time wasting uh, towards the end of uh, injury time and uh, you know 3-2 against a team that we should be comfortably beaten and uh, we were struggling so we thought let's waste a bit of time. That was until we conceded a free kick. Now let me know this is the 91st minute now. There's two minutes of injury time to be played. So we are well we're actually halfway through the 91st minute so all we need to do is boot this ball out and then hope for the best and then the referee will just call for full time. Now we head it back and then I tell my right back to clear it. He ends up clearing it for a corner. Now we already saw what happened from the last corner that I faced. And now let's see what happens from the next corner I faced deep into injury time. This is their final chance of the game as well. I mean, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've just jumped in my back first to their defender who's just headed it past me to make it 3-3 with the last kick of the game. So that was full time straight after that. So we drew 3-3. Which is very disappointing considering we won 4-0 last week and it looked like we were actually going to walk this league. And now we have proven that there are no easy games, even at Sunday League level. But yeah, uh, that brings to the end of uh, the first ever episode of this Sunday League uh, series. I mean, we have looked at the highs and lows as me as a keeper. Uh, already and uh, seeing how well my team does but if you have enjoyed the video we're gonna aim for about let's say 75 likes because it's something different uh, if you've liked the video uh, you know give it a like uh, hopefully we'll hit 75 for an episode 2 uh, which will hopefully be next week and it's the team that have given us shit on Twitter I mean they've actually called us out on Twitter and said that we're dodgy and we got them next week oh boy hey, go. Here she go. Either a little too